JWB DFS Corner Week 2. I'm Wyatt. You can find me on Twitter at WyattB underscore FF. Back again to talk about some of my favorite plays for the DraftKings main slate. Before I get to this week, I'm going to review my calls from last week. My first call for the tournament plays was Jameis Winston for $5,300. Scored 21.7 DraftKings points, four times his salary. Exactly what we wanted, exactly what we were hoping for. The next player that I had called was David Njoku at $3,900, only 1.7 DK points. This was a complete miss. Honestly, don't know what happened here. You know, expected Jacoby Brissett to heavily target the tight end. He didn't do that. We missed on this one. Rex Burkhead was my last tournament play call from last week at $4,900. He scored 12 DK points, 2.4 times his salary. Not quite where we wanted him to be but not bad. He didn't crush you on that point total for the forest price. My cash game lock from last week was Michael Pittman at $5,500, 30.1 DK points, absolutely crushed, almost five and a half times his salary. You'll love to see it. Let's get to week two. As a reminder, we're hoping that all these players at least three times their salary in DraftKings points. My first tournament play for week two is Derek Carr at $6,200, Going up against the Cardinals, who just gave up 37.9 DraftKings points to Patrick Mahomes, which was the highest scoring QB on the week. Now, Derek McCarr is not quite Patrick Mahomes, but he's still a very good quarterback in his own right. Last week, he had 16.8 DraftKings points versus the Chargers, who have a very good defense. And that 16.8 is already almost three times his salary. So, And I'm expecting him to have a much better game against the Cardinals this week. If you do go with Carr, I suggest pairing him up with Devontae Adams. Pretty obvious there, but Devontae Adams is uh, still underpriced, I think, at $8,600 himself. So it's a great pairing for this week. My next tournament play is Juwan Johnson at $2,500 at tight end for the Saints, going up against the Buccaneers. Only 6.3 DK points last week, but... When you think about it at this price, he only needs to hit 7.5 to three times his salary. And the important thing here is, yeah, Adam, Adam Troutman is technically the starter, but Juwan Johnson is the real receiving tight end for this offense. Last week, he ran a route on 78% of the dropbacks, which was top 10 for tight ends in week one. We don't need much out of Juwan Johnson. He allows you to punt at the position and pay up in others, and he could pay out on this salary pretty easily. My last tournament play is Antonio Gibson at $6,200, playing against the Lions, who just gave up three rushing touchdowns to running backs last week. Now, in week one himself, Antonio Gibson had 20 DK points without even scoring a touchdown. He had 14 carries, eight targets, getting the workload we had hoped for him this whole time. So if he gets the, continues this workload and continues to get that, knowing that he has a very good chance for a touchdown against uh, the Lions this week, he could have a monster game and really pay off on this price. Moving on to my cash game lock of the week, Saquon Barkley, $7,300. Saquon is back, playing against the Panthers, who just had the Browns run all over of them. Saquon in week one led the Giants in targets, rushing yards. He led the NFL in rushing yards. On his way to 36.4 DK points, led all running backs last week. And even with his price being raised to $7,300, it's still not high enough. He's still a value at that price. The reason why he's my cash game lock and I'm not putting him in my tournament calls is because I think he's going to be so popular that in tournaments, he might not actually be worth it. And I'd rather just lock him into all my cash game lineups and play him in a few tournament lineups, but not be overweight there. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Until next week, I hope everyone wins a bunch of money while you're here like subscribe follow everywhere find all of our content at jwfantasyfootball.com and i'll see you next time